Welcome everyone, this is Inside Jaros and this is a series of videos of how we redefine the javelin. of information uh, again the the all the idea of the first phase for this company in Colombia that unfortunately was kind of we, we they shut down all the program because of the government and they don't let us continue they just start you know they, it was political and a lot of things it's very sad but we, we got the information and in, since that became for me as a crusade and that's one of the reasons that I'm here right now with this company because I've been trying to to get the three cores, the three things that I, the, the, the conclusions that, that I got from, from all these operations. So, to be able to work now with a gyroplane as an incidental to the business, that is, meanwhile, we work in certifications because I know that many companies that work that are working in certifications that that's taking time. We are actually working in that. Um, right now, to, to help companies, to help entrepreneurs, to help governments, to help police departments that they don't have enough budget, to, we, we, we actually can provide a tool that will give you results. It's not just a publicity stunt. It's not just the Lamborghini on, on Dubai police. It's, it's not that. This is a real tool. I prove it. And I think many people in the world, they prove it in, 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 in Africa, helping with the animals. They're, they're proving it here in Poland with the, with the fire department, the, with, the, with, with thermal cameras to detect fires sooner, so they can attack sooner. They don't, the, the, this is very important because we can do it with these machines and now we have space. So anyway, there's three points. They are very, the, 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 the conclusions of all these years of, of, of the work that they're more or less you know, based on what we are redefining with the javelin is, the first point is the machine. The machine should have power, so now we have very good power plant with, the, with enough power to carry the, the payload that we need. I mean, it's not a cargo machine, but we, we are in the range of, of, of payload that we need. The second thing is a space in the cabin. Even if you like uh, backcountry, if you are traveling to uh, an air show or if you're going, you always, in, in, in other models, you are penalty on cargo. I mean, you can carry your wife, you can carry a friend, a passenger, let's put it this way. But bags may be a small over back and in the back. I mean, not, not all have, even the, even the, 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 the other versions or the AG915 series, they, they, they have some space in the back, it's good. We have a shelf in the back, but still it's not enough to carry at least a 10, two backpacks, a little bit of water. You know, it's not enough. Now we have, that's because we are redefining a really, really good design. This design was, but there was a different purpose at the beginning. It's an amazing design and we want to redefine it and want to use it for, for all these needs and all this feedback. So we have the power, we have the space now, we have more space, let's put it this way, and we also need practicality. If you have a problem in some of the machines, for example, if you need to change the battery, if you're operating in fire detection, for example, or in a police department, the moment the machine say no to go to fly is the moment they would lose all the credibility. So if you need, for example, if you need to change the battery in some of the models, it's a pain. If you need to replace a line, of a throttle line that may break small things 
This is when the problems begin. And it's not about the technology. One of my biggest fears when I start this is if we crash, if we say no to the mission, if we cannot go because of a simple thing that is broken, it will require a lot of time to dismount the aircraft and do it. That can damage the system. And the people will say, oh, gyroplanes in general are not good. And it's not true. The gyroplanes are good. The thing is, they have to be practical. That's one of the reasons that I really like these models, because everything is visual. You cannot just inspect everything. If you want to replace, you don't have to dismantle the whole aircraft. If you want to check something in the tunnel, you don't have to go under the chairs and... No, you just open the bottom and you can see everything. So, practicality, space and power. This is the first thing, the machine. What kind of machine? Something that is multi-purpose, from backcountry to small commutes to traveling, even to travel to the office that you can carry your staff. That's pretty practical and you can carry someone else without compromising the space. So space, power and practicality. That is practical to fix and it's practical to inspect. The second thing is the company. When we start all this testing, uh, we, we were about to, to, to engage in some contract, but the producer is a very, very, very key part. This is high ticket items. You cannot depend a long term operation on a small company that built aircraft on a rented hangar, for example, or they produce like a, like a boutique. It's a high ticket items, they may work for really expensive few machines a year, but when you're talking about contracts, when you're talking about other port parts of the puzzle that depends on continuous uh, production of parts, financial strengthness I mean it's important I mean the company can just go bankrupt or the CEO can disappear and, and that's it you have four five machines that should supposed to be working for X amount of years and you cannot do it right now so it's very important so the company is very important so financially stable should be financially stable should be a long-term production they have to have support they have to be everything in-house that's what we're trying to do here that's my crusade that's one of the reasons that i'm doing all these years all these videos and everything trying to prove the concept but to prove the concept i need to <laughs> accommodate a massive puzzle we try with these we fail we try with that we fail so now we are getting with all this report with all the knowledge that i've been trying to to accumulate so we have the machine we have the company that is financially structured, that we have enough muscle to, to keep for years the production. And even if you are buying the machine as, as, your, as your weekend uh, attraction, let's put it this way, or you're, you're using it as, as experimental amateur for sport, it's an investment. This is, the, this is a very expensive uh, machine. It's a high ticket item. So if if the company that produces it do, do not show strange, is a strength and is not powerful enough to support your product, is going to lose value a lot. So this is the this is this is the, the, the things and, and it's more or less based on, um, on 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 the practicality for, for, for commercial use and for professional use and development, having development all the time all the time but it's a section it's not the main models you cannot change in the models every day on the on the market models you should have a department and this is what we have the R&D department that is just thinking about what's going to happen in the next two three years and we start developing that and the third point of the main core of what we need, of what, what the gyro, what the, 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 the rest of the puzzle. So, so the gyroplanes, not, they're not just great machines for many, many small tasks and, 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 and really pointed tasks, is the training. 
that is connected to the producer and is that connected with the machine. Experienced people to be able to train the crew, the people who will operate these machines, the people who will fly these machines, you that are going to get these machines for your, for your sport pilot, so you can fly around the United States, you can fly around any place in the world, Europe, name it. Um, you need somebody with experience on the machine. There, there, there is something that, that actually exists. This is something that, I, that, that actually exists. So there is, there is a lot of pilots that already know their machines, that they already know how to train, and this is what, what, what we have right now. This is a click, this is box ticket. But you also need to train technicians. So one of the, the things that we're doing with the kits is that they'll help you to train yourself. If you're a private owner, if you're the you're, you're only person, you, with the kit and the builder's assistance and the help that we are, we're getting from, from, from organizations in the United States and in Latin America, is to build this. It takes time. We're building the program. So the machine is designed to be easy and they will teach you to build it and it will teach you the, the technical part. And if we're talking about using it for police department, fire department, uh, border control, I don't know, name it, laser companies, scanning, photography, everything that you can do legally right now as an incidental to the business. You also need to train the operators. You need to know all of this craziness behind how much the runway and fuel and logistics and which parts are, are going to fail first, how much uh, spare parts you will need to have. So again, Later, military and all the crazy things that I have done in these almost 10 years with the gyroplane plus the training that, I, that, that I've been doing with the people is collecting information, is collecting data to make it better. And now that we have a very good group, an industrial group and, 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 and associates and investors and people who are really, really, really strong enough to say, okay, let's make our roadmap. So in, in the meantime, we need to figure out how we can support the people who will operate, how we'll support their investment so it will not lose money. Uh, we will have to be financially strong enough to, to, to keep years of production. No one will take these machines for a real professional application, regardless if it's for government or regardless if it's incidental, incidental to the business. If there is a big real, not pictures and Facebook thing, if it's a real, real corporation behind, like, like, like there is another producer here in, New York, in Europe, they're, they're real corporations, they're real people, that, but a lot of financial strength that they can provide and they will prove it. There is, there is companies in Spain, in Germany, and in Poland, there is the, the, the oldest one, is, they've been proven with time that they are producing and they're not going to leave the customers behind. So yes, this is more or less what is the, the core value of the, the, the redefine and the product that we need to introduce initially as an experimental kit. There will be more things in the future what we're working for. But this is the core value. This is the, the, the things. So all my crazy history is crossing cordilleras and flying through the rivers on top of, 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 of roads and getting even issues with the Air Force because they were thinking they were doing something wrong. So anyway, this is, this is what we're trying to do. This is the redefinition of a beautiful model.